Niha says, as Popa said, the past definitely still affects the present and future. How can we control or stop our minds not to link between past and the present? Just we talked about it. Just focus on the now. It will not connect unnecessarily with the past. Past is good for the experiences that you want to draw on in order to have a better quality, safer time, and uh, you know whatever it is that you've learned to use it to create or negotiate your life. These are experiences and knowledge. These are wisdom experiences that helps you to be safer, to do your things, to recognize things, and so on and so forth. But if you go beyond that, it becomes... Um, intrusion in your ability to live life as it happens keeps you in the past and life passes you by. You want to be with the life as it progresses. Not watching the life, but yes, yet mm -hmm. residing in the past and watching what is happening from the past. You're going into your memory, you're recognizing and you're aware of what's happening, but you're not interacting with it. Why? Because you're there. You can't be in two places. So choose one and be with the flow of the energy that is happening, making things happen at the very moment. And that way, you will not be in the past. You will be with the present flow. You would be part of the creation. You would be creating. You would be along in the same frequency as what movements of the universal energies at every moment rather than trying to find refuge in the security of the past in your memory where you know everything therefore by knowing how everything was you feel safe and secure that's mostly why we go in there if it's not about memories and things it's about feeling uh, safe and secure and not to have to deal with things it's like where you're gonna go hide train yourself to be with every moment when you see something, see it as it is. Don't see it and say, oh, that reminds me, or oh, that is the same, that is because. If you recognize what it is because of the information you have in your memory, that's good, that's enough. The rest focus on what it is doing now, not remain in the memory while you were just trying to recognize uh, what this is with the information and the knowledge uh, uh, that you have in your memory about things. It's supposed to be a reference, your memory, not the actual thing that you're writing. It's just a reference. So you refer to it and come back. If you need to refer to it. Otherwise, just stay with the present. If you go on my YouTube and watch the, the quality of your life, watcher and the watched, controller and the controlled, <clears throat> um, observed, observer and observed, you will know a little bit more about this topic that we are talking about. And other than the parts that is very useful for us to have it in memory, to help us to learn and recognize and so on, you will see that consciousness in a way, it's redundant, and there's only thought. That's another subject which could be long if I get into it. <laughs> so, 